In this set of notes, we're going to talk a little bit about heart disease and blood disease. The first one that we're going to talk about is atherosclerosis. This is where the artery wall thickens due to a buildup of fatty materials like cholesterol. Atherosclerosis then is going to restrict the blood flow in arteries. As you can see, here's a normal artery, and then here's an artery that's been clogged a little bit by atherosclerosis, the fatty buildup. The treatment for this is to have a good nutritious diet, to exercise. Sometimes people can also have medication to help with this, and sometimes it's necessary to have surgery. Here's just another picture, a normal section of an artery, and then here are here's an artery that's kind of been clogged up. So you can see there's the blood flow is greatly restricted. We also have heart attack which occurs when blood flow to part of the heart is blocked, so that can happen in any of the parts of the heart. Hypertension is another condition, and this is where blood pressure is consistently higher than it should be. It makes the heart work harder, and with that then can damage the walls of blood vessels. Some of the things that can cause hypertension are a lack of exercise and obesity. Treatment then for hypertension would be to exercise, uh, to have a modified diet, and to limit the sodium intake. Hemophilia is another blood disease, and hemophilia is the inability for blood to clot properly. This is a hereditary disease, and it's most common in males, and we talked about this a little bit when we went through the genetics unit. The treatment for hemophilia is to use donor-created plasma or lab-created plasma. Anemia, there are lots of different types of anemia. The most common type of anemia is iron deficiency. Iron is essential to the hemoglobin and red blood cells, and without it, you're not able to get enough oxygen. So a lot of times people with anemia will be tired, um, they'll experience weakness, and they might be irritable too. So the treatment for this is to increase iron intake, either through eating foods that are high in iron or taking an iron supplement. Sickle cell anemia is another type of anemia. This is an inherited disease, and the red blood cells are misshapen. They are sickle-shaped, like you see this one right here. Um, the shape causes cells to get stuck in blood vessels, and that can cause pain, um, and it can also cause organ damage. There's not currently a treatment for sickle cell anemia, but there are treatments for the symptoms that it causes. There are lots of different other heart diseases and blood diseases. Those are only a few of them. If you have any questions or you're interested in learning more about some of the other ones, uh, let me know and we'll go over it in class. That's all.